I'm gonna do an example of a binomial probability problem. So we have a casino game, and the probability of winning uh, is 0 0.20. If John plays uh, this game three times, what is the probability uh, he wins at least twice? So you know that this is binomial, and the reason you know it's binomial is because you have two possible outcomes, right? In this game, John is either a winner or a loser. Also, you have your probability of success, uh, which is uh, 0 0.20. So you have two possible outcomes. Uh, usually, it's going to be binomial. So we need to find a couple variables here. N is how many times John plays the game. It's the number of trials. So he plays three times, so N is equal to three. Okay. P is the probability of success. So in this example here, P is 0 0.20. Is that the probability that John wins? Uh, Q is the probability of failure. So Q, well, a couple ways to do it. If there's a 20% chance he wins, then there's an 80% chance he loses, right? So just common sense. So 0 0.80. If you don't like that, if the numbers are kind of funky, what you can do is you can just do 1 minus P. So you can do 1 minus 0 0.20. So you can get 0 0.80. Just in case the numbers aren't as nice, right? So again, N is how many times uh, he plays the game. So he plays three times. P is the probability of success. Usually it's given in these problems. The only thing I can think of where it's not given is like a coin flipping problem where it's one half. And then Q is the probability of failure, so 0 0.80. Okay, um, now we have to write down the formula. So the probability of exactly X wins. So exactly X wins. That's not what we want here. We want at least two, but if it was exactly X, it's equal to. So it's N choose X, okay? That's also written like this. Maybe you've seen it like this. So n choose x. It's the combinations formula, right? Times p to the x times q to the n minus x. Maybe later on I'll make another video explaining where this formula comes from. It takes about three minutes, but I don't want to waste it on this video. So maybe I'll make another one later. So n choose x, p to the x, q to the n minus x. So we're going to plug everything into this, into this formula. So you read the problem. You have two possible outcomes write down the number of trials, in other words, how many times he plays the game, the probability of success, that's the probability of winning, the probability of losing, and then you write down everything, plug everything into your formula. So n here, well, what's x? We don't know what x is. So n here is 3. So 3 choose x. p is 0.2, so 0 0.20 to the x. And q is 0.8, so 0.80 to the, well, n is 3, so 3 minus x. Okay. All right, so that's the formula. So now we have to find the probability that he wins at least twice, right? So at least twice. So p of at least twice. So x here is the number of times he wins the game, right? Because this is the probability of exactly x successes, right? So x is the number of times he wins. So we want him to win at least twice. So x has to be greater than or equal to two, right? So if he's gonna win at least twice, he has to win two or more times. Now, since he's only playing three times, if he wins two or more times, that's two or three times. So this is equal to the probability that X is equal to two or the probability that X is equal to three, right? Because he's only playing three times. So if he's gonna win, at least twice, that means two or more times, so two or three times. If he was playing four times, it would be two or three or four. If he was playing five times, it would be two or three or four or five, etc. All right, when there's an or, you add, and you're also supposed to subtract, but he can't win exactly twice and exactly three times. So it's just going to be p of two plus p of three. So this is p of two. Now, this means p of x equals two. That's what this means. This is just shorthand. It took me a year to learn that. Um, so <laughs> plus p of three. And so now we just plug in the formula. So there's an or you add, and now we just plug in the numbers into the formula. So I'm gonna come, um, running out of room, it's gonna come up here. Okay, so P of two means you plug in the two here, so three choose two. And then we have point two to the two. And then three minus two is one, right? So it's gonna be point eight to the one. And then plus, okay, and then three choose three, right? So three choose three. Whew, gotta write small. 
Kitty board. Point two to the three, because x is three, right? I don't want to mess up. Ugh. <laughs> and then point eight, and then, oh, three minus three is zero. So point eight to the zero. Point eight to the zero. Point eight, all the same thing as point eight. All right, so three choose two is three. As you know, that's math. Um, you can um, put it on your calculator or work out the actual formula. I'll, I'll, I'll leave the calculator work. Uh, this is uh, point 0.2 squared, so I'll leave it like that, point 0.8, right, because point 0.8 to the 1 is just point 0.8. 3 choose 3 is 1. This is point 0.2 cubed, and then, and then um, point 0.8 to the 0 is 1, so times 1. So at this point, I'm going to go to the calculator, so that's just 3 choose 2 is 3, that's that, that's that, that's equal to 1. And that's equal to 1 as well. Anything to the 0 power is 1. So I'm going to pick up my calculator and plug it out in. Because I didn't do this before. And I never do any of these videos before. It's too much work. Uh, this is, I hope I do it right, 0.2 cubed. I got 0 0.104. So if you got the same thing, then we both did it right. So this is equal to 0.1. I'm sure it's right. 0 0.104. That makes sense. It's a really small probability. If you think about it, the probability of him winning is only 20%. So the probability of him winning at least twice and plays three times, that's pretty good for such a small probability. So about a 10% chance, 0 0.104, uh, that he uh, wins at least twice. So when you have a problem and there's two possible outcomes and they give you the probability of success, um, it's binomial and you just use the formula. So I hope that helps. That's it.